So the other day I was scrolling through Facebook, seeing post after post about the long-awaited return of football. And as I was scrolling, I stumbled across an ad for a job. The Toronto Argonauts, my Toronto Argonauts, were looking for a new in-stadium host for their upcoming season. Naturally, I was on the website within a couple of seconds. And that's only because high-speed internet takes a couple of seconds to load. I saw the form to fill out for information, experience, and a link to a demo reel. But then I got an idea. I've always loved performing, and I've been lucky enough to have got to do that a lot throughout my life. And I've always loved filming and the video editing process, but I've never had the opportunity to really put it to practical use before. So I figured, what better way to start than with a job application to my all-time favorite team? So with that said, my name is Andrew, and here's why I think I should be the next in-stadium host for the Toronto Argonauts. My football journey started at a young age, when my dad would take me to games in Toronto but I didn't really start to understand and appreciate the game until I was in my teens. I went to several games at Skydome, and I've been to almost every game since the move to BMO. I was here for this. The Toronto Argonauts say goodbye to this building. And this. The Argos open the gates of their new digs at BMO Field. And this. The Argos are going to the Great Cup. And of course, this. The Toronto Argonauts have won the historic 100th. Being a die-hard fan means that knowledge and understanding of the game of football comes easy to me. I know all of the basic rules, but I love all of the unique rules that make our game truly Canadian. I love the wider field, the deeper end zones. I love the forward motion, the waggle, the rouge. I love how special teams play such an important role in the game. And have you ever seen a CFL game go into overtime? Enough said. When it comes to the ins and outs of the broadcasting world, nobody is more knowledgeable than me. I know how to make my voice heard, myself seen, and I know how to communicate my message directly to my audience. Uh, Andrew, the camera's over here. <laughs> Okay, so you got me. I actually don't have any professional broadcasting experience, but I do have extensive performance experience. I started performing at the age of 11 in a school musical, and I performed in several school and community theater projects since then as well. I love performing, and the opportunity to do that both as a job and with a team that I love would be a dream come true. My family has had season's tickets since 2015, and I'm always at the stadium on game day. I'm there from the opening kickoff to the final whistle. In sun, wind, snow, and even rain. You want dedication to the sport? Here's some dedication for you. In 2017, my dad and I attended five CFL games within six days. We took along a giant banner and collected signatures from all of the amazing fans and players that we met on our trip. It was an incredible experience, one that I'll never forget. So I hope you like this video that I put together for you. I would love the opportunity to meet with you in person and discuss why I think I'm a great fit for this job. Either way, I'll be there on August 21st at BMO Field 
for the long-awaited return of football in Toronto. From the opening kickoff to the final whistle. Thanks for watching.